get any freaking cuter. Oh my god, look at you. And good morning everybody, it is Dingle here and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing super, super duper well. I said it's the morning, but it's 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Literally all day I have been sitting at the desk doing work things, editing Vlogmas Day 1, but I've got Vlogmas Day 1 up. You guys can go check it out. It was unintentionally Vlogmas Day 1. I had more footage for a different vlog, a more cheery, more like festive vlog to go up for Vlogmas Day 1, but the footage decided to delete itself. I really don't know what happened. I don't, I didn't delete it. No, no, I really did. But guys, welcome to official Vlogmas day two. I just actually had my afternoon coffee because I was gonna go get Duncan, but I was waiting for the vlog to go up and I was like, I can't wait anymore. My head is just like, I am truly addicted to coffee. I'm also not married today. We have to, I just realized that. You know when you wear like a piece of jewelry every day and then you realize you don't have it on and you're like, oh my gosh, where did it go? But anyway, since I have been literally in my seat, not moving around, not doing anything, well, I've been doing a lot of things. But since I've been grinding it out all day, I thought that it was only appropriate that we reward ourselves with a little Target trip. I have a list, if you guys know me at all. There is a reason for this Target trip. There are things that I could not find in in the home goods haul, the original one that I did this December, I will link that down below if you are curious. That's where the majority of the Christmas decor shopping definitely was. But there's stuff that is not checked off on the list that I had going into there. And so I'm gonna hit Target for the rest of the stuff because I know it'll have super cute things specifically in the hearth and hand section. So I'm really pumped about that. So let's get shopping. Let's do a little haul at the end. But first, the OOTD. The ooh ooh ta da. Is it, does, does that like girl show up on anyone else's for you page? She's hysterical on TikTok. Oh my gosh, I love her. But here is the outfit today. I've got my absolute favorite joggers on by Airy. Whoa, the lighting changed. I will leave these linked down below. I have these in blue as well. They are just literally perfect. They've got like a little butt pocket right here. I love the detail on the strings. I've got my white Vans on. I actually ended up getting like a little pen because as soon as I started getting little like scuffs on them, that's tomato sauce and things like that, I got like a little bleach pen. So I have to take the bleach pen to that. And then this crew neck you guys know is from Target. I have it in two colors as well because it just goes with joggers so freaking well. I love it so much. And yeah, that's the outfit. I will leave everything linked down below in case you guys want to match. Last year I
how are we? Good. Wait until you see what wine I scored for dinner. Shrewy tree? <laughs> no way. Yeah, I found That's it. So yeah, it was at Target. No way, on sale? No, just at oh, Target. You it? Yeah, I just scored it. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> when we say we heat up the beef stew, I'm so hungry. Yes, I will be there in just a second. Okay. Hey Google, set a timer for 13 minutes. Hi. Is he forgetting more love than you in the other room? Should we go check it out? Is he giving? Go get him. I hear hippos getting more love than you. You should go check that out. Cheers. It's so good. Isn't it? Yeah. I got Crush and then, well first I picked up a cab because there was Dreaming Tree cab and then I saw Crush and I recognized Crush a little bit more. Yeah, so we get Crush is their red blend, right? I think it is. And then they had a Pinot Noir. Yeah, we tried the Pinot Noir. It wasn't good. You just don't like Pinot Noirs. No, that's the one we tried. I was like, oh, it's creepy, creepy. Let's try it. I thought you tried you tried bread and butter Pinot Noir. Oh, it was it was dreaming tree. Fine, we'll try bread and butter Pinot Noir. See you don't like I just you were just like no, I just, it was just that one and you just tried it. You didn't even try the Pinot Noir at your dad's house. You said it was good. You said this is actually not bad. Did I? Yeah, you did. I don't know about that. You one. did. Don't go back on your word. You don't. Listen, woman. Mind. All I'm saying is I'm about to play video games. Okay, that's what you were saying throughout this whole conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God. I should have known. Can you I should have I sh I I picked that up. I'm so sorry. While well, the garlic bread is heating up in the oven, Jack said that he approves all of my purchases, so we will do a quick haul tomorrow because the lighting outside is not optimal. But I really enjoy everything. I'm questioning a couple things, but I did keep all of the receipts. So, oh, and I can't wait to show you that mug. I think I've already shown it, but I'll read it to you out loud. I did not get a shot of like the finished beef stew yesterday for you. Oh my God. Like it thickens so crazy. Like everything that breaks down in that crock pot, plus the meat and the like, and the cooking tapioca, which really helps to thicken it up over time, like slowly. Oh, it's so good. We got like cake and bake garlic bread. Oh, you guys are very crooked and I'm very sorry about that. Taste test. Oh my God. Miss Sally has gained terrible habits of sitting on the same thing. And not only just sitting on there because sitting like, I feel like we've always let our cats like sit on tables and stuff like that. But my mom was over the other weekend and we're having bagels with cream cheese and mom kept putting her finger in like the cream cheese and like giving it to Miss Allie and so she thinks that now she gets a little bit of whatever we're eating like a bite for her and a bite for us <laughs> like alternating. I'm down to first survivor, I'm down for parenthood, I'm down for- I'm not as into this villains versus heroes. Me survivor. too. The survivor we're watching right now like the other season we watched was so good but this season, the only other season on Netflix is like a heroes versus villain. And it's referring to like a lot of past seasons and everyone in this season was part of past survivor seasons. And so it's almost like you feel left out <laughs> that you don't know everyone. Cause they keep referencing like, oh, in this past season, this person did this. And it's like, well, I don't know this person. So <laughs> now I feel left out of the club. We first start out asking each other how our days were. Just like getting the lowdown on everything, you oh, know? Yeah. All the juicy gossip. <laughs> you would think that living together and working out of the same exact house would not would not bode for mm -hmm. a lot of stuff to catch up on, but there's always stuff to catch up oh, yeah. on. But we're gonna do that. It's like I live a whole nother life. <laughs> Totally. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning-ish for a quick Christmas Target decorating haul type of thing. And hello friends, it is the next day and I'm actually very, very excited to show you the last, I say that, but then watch. I'm gonna like find something else that I want to round out my house for Christmas with. But the last on the official checklist that I had when I initially made the checklist to go get Christmas decor. And seeing everything here like all together looks really good. Good, especially in the daylight because it got dark last night so it was tough to see like oh do I really like that 
different like aesthetic? Do I like how everything came together? And so far, yes, it all looks really good together. So let's dive into everything. If I can still find anything I'm showing you guys, I will of course link it below, but some of these things are at Home Goods, and Home Goods doesn't like have a website. You like go there, you hunt around, and you find like the best deals possible. Plus, every Home Goods has like different things. So that's why I love like seeing like other shop with me's in Home Goods because other anyway, I digress. Let's get into it. So the first thing is from Target. So this is by Hearth and Hand. And they are kitchen towels. The kitchen towels that we have currently and why these were on the list are literally from I think six years ago. And they just aren't my thing anymore. They're very traditional. They're kind of burlappy. They're like kind of like old school farmy Christmas. And I wanted more of like a modern type of take on a farmhouse Christmas type of deal. I love this towel, but look at the white one underneath. Like that pattern. It's so cute. But these kitchen towels were from Target and they were $9.99. So I will leave them linked down below if I can find them. The next find was from Walmart. I underestimate Walmart all the time. I have time and time again had a thing that I've been looking for and I can't find exactly what I'm thinking of at Home Goods or even at Target. And then I go to Walmart and voila, like it always comes through. I don't know. So this is a runner and right now our table is very sad. It is very empty. And a couple of these items, including this one, are to make it less so. But this runner, it is, I think, six feet. It says 72 inches, which I think is six. Yes, six feet. But on the label here, it says gray, but if you look at the fringe, yeah, it's definitely gray, but when you match it with like this ivory color, it looks to be the same type of greens, like the lighter greens in this towel, like in this. So I thought that was really cool because the kitchen is right there, you'll see the towel. And I was looking for something that was more neutral and not as like, bam, Christmas, or like bright red or anything like that for a table runner. So I was really excited about this. And this, my friends, was, I don't see a tag thing on here, but I remember checking out at Walmart and it was like $14 total, including tax. This I'm very excited about. In Target, I was looking for a bath mat because one hour bath mat is definitely on its way out. We've had that since we moved in, so it's over a year old now. And I find that just after a while, even if you wash the bath mat a thousand times, it doesn't have the same life that it used to, doesn't get out the same stains that it used to. And so I was going in between this one and a white one but I could tell that the white one was already dirty and I'm like I'm gonna step on that once and it's going to be so dirty so I went with this one it's definitely more of a subtle again not like bam Christmas in like your face but I love the winter green I think it'll look really good against we have like black and white checkeredy kind of tiles in the bathroom and I think this will look really good against that and I loved it so much I went towards a section where I saw bath mats previously in Target and they were like ho 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 or you know Merry Christmas and it was like bright greens and bright reds and I was like that'd be really cute but like this one I can even see us keeping this one even after Christmas because it's like very main it's got like a pine cone and things like that so I thought that was super super cute and then I think the last thing no not the last things from Target but I found these in the dollar section as you guys saw and during the holidays I am always spending money on gift wrapping it's almost like an afterthought I've got like the list of presents but when it comes to wrapping them or putting them in gift bags and tissue paper and all that stuff I never think of that stuff until it's too late and then all of the cheapo ones are like sold out So then I end up spending more than necessary on just like boxes or shirt boxes or like gift wrapping and things like that So when I saw this stuff in the dollar section at Target I was so pumped each one of these packs of tissue paper in these different colors was only a dollar And then I also got gift boxes each package has two in them So I have four total shirt boxes Boxes, but I use shirt boxes for like anything like I love if I'm putting together a smorgasbord or like a theme type of gift box I love like laying down the tissue paper and putting a bunch of items in it and then like closing the box And the fact that these already have like a cute little thing like on them I don't necessarily have to wrap it. It already looks cute So each of these was only one dollar as well and then this is the last thing from Target and I got plants to go in the vase that's right behind you guys. I don't know if I'm 100% sold on this. So when we put everything 
everything together in a future Vlogmas vlog. We will see. I like how they look just like by themselves and especially with the pile that I have here. I think it looks really good, especially with the table runner. So I'm thinking really that's all that matters because these are going to be closest to the table runner, that type of thing. But I kind of am leaning towards like, I just wish that they had more of like this type of thing. A little more red maybe like this Screams kind of Thanksgiving in deep fall or November to me rather than Christmas. But these were the only ones they had left. Literally they had I think only like one to two-ish of these left I believe. I saw this was the last one that they had and I love the variety so I grabbed that one and then this I found randomly in the hearth and hand section and it was like the only thing left and I'm so bummed. When I went there initially to scout out Christmas stuff when I was doing like the bigger Christmas decor haul, there was so many faux plant stuff like everywhere and I didn't grab them because I was like I'll see what they have at home goods and then when I went to home goods I didn't love what they had and so it's like that's okay I know there's a bunch at Target and then by the time I got back to Target everything was gone <laughs> even the hearth and hand section I don't know if you could tell from the shop with me segment of the video but it was a lot of just regular hearth and hand stuff whereas before when I went it was just Christmas hearth and hand stuff everywhere and so I bet you anything they'll be getting a shipment in soon because everyone at the beginning of December probably flocked to the hearth and hand section was like Christmas everything give me all of it so I'm gonna see how this looks all together and how I like it in the dining room with the table runner and everything put together I have the receipts for everything if I want to return these it won't be the end of the world and then by the time I end up returning them they might even have a little bit more variety for me to pick from and then the last item is from home goods it is this mug and usually the home goods mugs I'm not gonna lie I don't love them there's once in a while where I'll find a mug in there and I'm like that is one my aesthetic and I love it so much and it's not very kitschy I feel like a lot of the mugs aren't very neutral they're not and they have like some like cursive writing on them and I'm not super into that I love like the plain type I love cute little sayings and then I love the look of like clay mugs like this type of vibe it reminds me of a hearth and hand mug that I have already that says what does it say it says it says you've got this or something like that it's like very inspirational but I saw this and one I loved the aesthetic of it so cute and the other thing there's this quote on it it's by Thoreau and it says it's the beauty within us that makes it possible for us to recognize the beauty around us the question is not what you look at but what you see and I have been told this many times that I come off as a very optimistic human being and I would say I definitely agree with that there will be times where stuff is not easy there will be times where I'm going through it and there will be times where just things are happening in the world and my automatic thought process goes to the positive side of things even if it's a super sucky situation and in the moment I'm like this really sucks but then I'm like you know what this could be teaching me something super valuable and I'll be like hey it sucks but it's also an opportunity to learn this or see this or practice positive thinking like I will always lean towards thinking more positively than negatively in a situation and I loved that because the last part of this is the question is not what you look at but what you see so just a reminder if you're going through it it helps so much to look at positives or to just realize how much good there is in the world and how much good there is already in your life and that's why i love this mug so much and i thought it would be a constant great reminder as i'm sipping my coffee in the morning but that my friend is going to be it for today's vlogmas video i hope you all enjoyed again all the products that i can find online will be linked down below if you liked anything you saw and then tomorrow's vlogmas I wasn't gonna say it, I was just gonna like end up posting it but I just got confirmation from my mom that it is okay to do a full on like Christmas house tour of her house the number of comments that I get about how cozy her house is and how warm and inviting it is and I totally agree with you guys I'm sure you guys could put together kind of a house tour in your head because we've vlogged in it so many times but I would love to bring you guys through each room and do like an official tour and it's all set up for Christmas now like everything is set up for Christmas and because I deleted the footage of decorating that house for Christmas I still wanted you guys to see all of the highlights because my mom literally built this house and like designed it around what it would look like for Christmas if you notice all of the wallpaper every decision as far as like where the tree would go and like everything is 
Christmas colors and happens to go perfectly with the Christmas time and all the other seasons. It could definitely be pulled off with like every other season, but if you really look close, there's a lot of reds, there's a lot of greens, there's a lot of golds, and it's awesome. So I cannot wait to do that house tour with you guys tomorrow. So if you are new and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you do so down below. We upload every single weekday here during Vlogmas. Everyone, don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and I will catch you in the next one, my friends. I'll see you later, bye. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing